Whoa, what's up? Today's video is on Boosie, D Wade, and Gabrielle Union. Now, if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. And uh, y'all already know I'm revisiting this goddamn it mainly because of little Boosie, and it seemed to be some type of fake outrage behind what he said, goddamn it. And really, I don't understand why. Let's get to the clip, y'all. Dwayne Wade, you gone too fucking far, dog. That's a male. A twelve year old. And twelve, they don't even know they don't even know what they next meal gonna be. They don't they don't have shit figured out yet. He might meet a, a, a woman, anything at sixteen and fall in love with her. But his dick be gone. How you gonna like bruh, that's it's, it's you going too far, dog. Don't cut his dick off, bro. Like bruh, for real. If he gonna be gay, let him be. But don't cut his dick off, bro. Like, don't address him as a woman, dog. He's 12 years old. He don't, he's not, he's not up there yet. He he hasn't made no decisions yet. Don't cut his fucking dick off. Now, y'all heard what he just said. Like, I don't understand what the fuck the big problem was with what he just said. I guess because he was graphic about it or something to people. I don't understand what people big deal is about it, goddammit. He basically said everything that everybody is fucking thinking. The boy is a fucking male. And in case y'all don't know how I feel about the uh, subject, you should go revisit the last video. I don't have time to be breaking down why the fuck is this boy. Every time we see this boy, he talking about sex, guy. God damn it or sexuality why is he going through a sexual crisis around this motherfucker you are witnessing a rebel network so understand that why the only time d Wade stick a fucking camera in his face is when he talking about sex he'll never ask that little boy about racism trayvon inequalities or nothing fucking else all he talk about is sex around this motherfucker i don't understand what the big problem is except the language with what boosie said motherfucker and really y'all need to get over language Cursed words once again don't exist Frogs ain't gonna fall from the sky and shit The word is not cursed Grow the fuck up Like some of y'all who can't watch me Because oh, he, be, he said to. Man get your lame weak ass out of here The future has no place for you around this motherfucker But look what Boosie said He said that's a male correct A 12 year old male He said he don't have shit figured out yet He don't he's a fucking 12 year old So would you let your 12 year old just say you know what i think i'm a puppy now i'm gonna start not taking baths i'm gonna uh, grow a beard well you can't grow shit as a kid but you know what the fuck i'm saying start walking around barking and shit you're you gonna go to the grocery store with your kid looking like a fucking weirdo because he actually think he's a dog around this motherfucker think about it get the hell out of here he said what if we meet a woman and fall in love which is totally fucking possible but you gonna cut it off because he 12 and you acting like like he's some big time intellectual around this motherfucker. Get the hell out of here. But y'all pay attention to what this fucking fool said. Old D Wade. But y'all know what uh Boosie said. He said the dude ain't made his final decisions yet and shit. Don't address him as no motherfucking woman because he's not a woman. He was born with a penis. And know what? Before we get to the next clip, you know what that make me think about? Is Dwayne Wade religious around this motherfucker? Because do he do he believe in uh Jesus, y'all? No, I'm not religious, but Jesus, you know, if he religious, brought him down here with the tool of a male. God damn it. So you going to change Jesus work for you religious people out here who support that little boy walking around saying he a fucking woman out here. If you religious, you support that. So God got it wrong. Huh? Y'all God got it wrong around this motherfucker. Get the hell out of here with that bullshit. And let's get to old D Wade so I can really go in. Because I really was holding back on that part. Look what old stupid D Wade said as he was going on tour with his fucking son. Because everywhere he go, he talking about how fucking gay this little boy is. He on tour with the nigga talking about being gay at 12. Show this bullshit, y'all. You are witnessing the Rebel Network. So when Zion came out to us, I had to, to get educated on on every scenario and every situation, and I'm still being educated. So if my child comes home and say, hey, dad, I feel that I am a she. My job is to help you become who you are. So when Zion came out to us, I had to. 
Now, did y'all hear that shit? I had to write that shit down, y'all. This dude full of complete shit. This dude straight up said when Zion just came home. Like, I mean, like, where did he come from? First of all, you said when Zion came home and told you that fake ass shit, you felt like you just had to get educated. Educated about what, goddammit? When your first son was born and he said, you know what, I like girls, did you have to get educated about that? Did you? Oh, because he gay, now you gotta get educated about being gay in every fucking scenario what the fuck are the scenarios and then gonna say and i'm still being educated you know just walking on every eggshell don't want to accept um he don't want to upset the homosexuals you know and i'm still being educated man get your bitch ass out of here but when he comes home and said that he said he felt like it was his responsibility to help him become who he want to be he felt it was his responsibility to help him become what he want to be. Let's play it again while I like calm the fuck down for a second round. This so when Zion came out to us, I had to, to get educated on on every scenario and every situation, and I'm still being educated. So if my child comes home and say, "Hey, Dad." I feel that I am a she. My job is to help you become who you are. So when Zion came out. Now do y'all hear that bullshit? You are witnessing the Rebel Network. My bad if the screen moving slow. Sometimes it do that when I play the videos. But fuck it. We a Rebel Network anyway. But y'all heard him. He felt like it was his job to help him become who he is. So what if his son would have came home and said, you know what, Pops? I'm a gangster, you dig? I, I like this gangster culture. I'm attracted to, you dig? I won't live a fast. Like, I don't want to live in this mansion no more, you dig? I won't go to the streets and shit where you come from. I won't sell drugs and dress like the rappers and shit. And, you know, shit like that. You going to help him become that? You going to help him become that person? Or what if he would have came home and said, you know what, dad? I'm attracted to to fucking dogs god damn it i like dogs and fur and shit sexually it turns me on fucking you gonna support that Dwayne way you gonna help him become who the fuck he's supposed to be huh you gonna support bestiality huh get the fuck out of here with the bullshit you did they really think that they trailblazing or something or they some type of modern family but you never fucking willing that boy out my bad y'all you never willing that boy out once again to talk about racism what is like being black in society today or being the only black kid at that white school you know he go to around this motherfucker you did did people tease him at a younger age you did what led to this he ain't never said you know what son let's talk Talk more about this he ain't never come out and say that during all these interviews did you hear him say so i sat down and had a deep talk with my son and said where are these feelings coming from son these feelings that make you think you're attracted to another male you did well you know delve deeper into that you are witnessing a rebel network did you sit your son down and have a talk you know like why son why is this going on no that's not what Dwayne wade did he just said you know what i gotta accept it you gay i'm about to go learn some shit not talk to his fucking son because if my son came to me i would have talked to him or if my son came to me and said damn i'm a fucking gangster bro i like this gangster shit all them niggas get to do is stand on the corner yeah i know they risking their life and shit but man they they get to drink smoking shit all day man i like the gangster shit you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna sit him down and say son guess what them dudes ain't gonna fucking last long right there see him getting drunk he can't do that shit until he 40 you dick he gonna have to get a job and by the time he go looking for one his body ain't gonna his body ain't gonna be able to do it most likely and even if he can handle it physically he probably can't handle it mentally because he ain't want nobody telling him what to do and shit telling him when to come to work he can't maintain a schedule that's because he never had a job because he used to just standing out there on that corner you did you sit your kid down and talk to him but nah the first thing d wade i got to support this i am gonna champion this i'm gonna, I'm gonna take you on tour around this motherfucker tell everybody you're gay matter of fact 
Whenever I cut on this camera, let's talk about some gay shit around this motherfucker. You are witnessing a rebel network. Y'all see what I'm saying? And for y'all who want to cry, I ain't said nothing offensive towards homosexuals at all. God damn it. Not a motherfucking thing. It's about the child. Remember the kids. The kids. Think about the fucking kid who he didn't talk to. He Who he didn't have a fucking good sit down with. But let's go to old Gabrielle Union, y'all, so we could really, really, really go in round this motherfucker. And this video ain't got no sound, so I'm going to read the bitch and, you know, show y'all how really these people just, they, they not for us, y'all. They not for black issues, black people, black nothing. Look at this bullshit. Gabrielle Union, I'm built for this. I see it all and I keep high stepping for all of us. My dream, my fight, my spirit, my work is for all us all you can fight me you can trash me you can stand in my way i will keep moving forward and still cover you in love and light get the hell out of here like she going through the biggest fight ever matter of fact when you what matter of fact didn't they kick you off that show and shit because you said they was treating you uh bad because you're black talking about they don't like the clothes you was wearing and shit why you weren't talking about that uh, when that shit happened Y'all know that she ain't just come out and say Today at work Man they told me I, They don't want me wearing this ethnic shit And they don't want my hair to look You know natural and shit Did she hurry up and tweet that And champion that Hey today MB, Them dirty motherfuckers from NBC or ABC Done told me they don't like my natural hair They don't like my blackness Nah You waited until you quit and shit You know what I'm saying She waited until she quit the motherfucking job or whatever And then say, Oh they was doing this And they was doing that god damn it and guess what that old coon terry cruz is doing he was shutting right the fuck up and say i ain't see no racism for those of you who still like that coon he was like ain't nothing ever happened over there nothing ain't happened i ain't never experienced no racism nothing i yeah they, they left a banana on my desk but I, you know i just know they was joking and they really was worried about my health around them but they weren't clowning me man you know when they handed me that watermelon and shit for lunch you know the people was just joking man gabrielle you you gotta lighten up to this you know that's what the fuck he said get the hell out of here bro but she she ready to hop on the motherfucking thing against boosie though this is my fight i too shall rise who the fuck you think you and like she Maya Angelou with it and I shall rise with the sun and all of that bullshit you are not going through a huge fight because Bootsy said hey don't cut the dude balls off he's only a fucking child god damn it you know what kid what if your child would have came to you and said you know what dad I don't want you as no fucking turtle no more, goddammit. I'm going to start shitting in this uh, corn over here because that's just who I am, goddammit. You know, will you support that? Or will you tell your son, you know what, that I can't support that son. You know why? Because that's not um, healthy, first of all. You shitting over there every day and shit. I got to breathe that in, son. That's not good for my health, the kids' health, your mother's health, anybody else's health. And what about our company and shit? They got to come over here and see your pile of shit over there. And what about you yourself? What people going to think about you? He just goes over there and shit all the time. What's wrong with that kid? They going to think of you as the shitty kid who shits in the corner and his crazy parents allow it, son. See? That's why I can't accept you just shitting like that. You got to sit your 12 year old down and fucking talk to him. You did. And y'all know you may not like my uh my delivery, but my logic is fucking irrefutable, bro. This dude has gone totally mad. God damn it. Look at look. Let's watch his video again. He's gone insane by thinking he is going to be super PC for America. Y'all show this so when shit Zion again. Came out to us. I had to, to get educated on on every scenario and every situation, and I'm still being educated. So if my child comes home and say, hey, dad, I feel that I am a she. My job is to help you become who you are. So when Zion came out to us. Now y'all heard this dude? When Zion came out, you know, it came home, matter of fact. Keep that in mind, y'all. Zion came home. Where the fuck did Zion come home from? Was he being bullied there that day at school? Was people saying, Zion, your fucking voice is all high-pitched, man. You you sound like a little girl. You know, was he being bullied? Did you say, Zion, what the fuck bring these feelings about? The first thing you said is, I had to get educated. Educated on what? 
Somebody got to teach you how to talk to your fucking child and say, Zion, what the fuck is going on here? Why is Zion? And matter of fact, when people are born gay, as a lot of people claim, no matter if I may not believe it or not, or me or you, goddamn it, usually when people say they born gay and shit like that, you should see the signs, supposedly. You know, the way they talk, walk, the mannerisms, and this, that, and the third. So you should see that coming, you know? How long was Zion like this? How long Zion, you know, had these feelings? Do you, you not talk to your fucking son? Because y'all can see that. That's the main theme of this fucking video, y'all. Do you not talk to your fucking child? And why the fuck every time we see you, that kid talking about sex, and you never have him talking about inequality, which is worse than being a fucking homosexual? This shit can get you gunned down. You're more likely to experience racism than a goddamn hate crime. And you know that this shit is fact around this motherfucker. But look, I ain't about to even spend no more time on this bullshit, y'all. This is a goddamn shame, but y'all know I done it because I took the poll and y'all wanted to hear me speak on it around this motherfucker, bruh. D-Wade ought to be ashamed of itself, bruh. You witnessing the Rebel Network. Once again, y'all holler at me.